So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is Friday evening and it finally quit raining earlier today. It's a little bit overcast tonight, but not too bad. Now tomorrow is supposed to be a pretty decent day, but I think the rain comes back tomorrow night into Sunday. So this evening I gotta get caught up on some grass cutting. Things are getting a little bit out of control, but once I'm done with that, we're gonna take a look at a few different grapples. Now if you've been following our channel, you've seen that uh, RK by Top Dog six foot granite grapple that I run on the RK37. I use it all the time. I don't think I've even taken it off that tractor in probably four or five months. But just in the last week, I've received six different messages. We get tons of messages on Facebook, email, Instagram, and in the comments. But six different people were asking about that 54 inch grapple and I kind of like how it would work on a bigger tractor. And I really can't answer them because I've never tried it on the 37, but tonight we're going to. Uh, so once I get done mowing, We'll take the six footer off the 37, put the 54 inch one on, probably go pick up some logs and just try it out and see how it does. I think it should work really well, maybe even better just for uh, down at the firewood yard and carrying logs and things like that. It weighs less, it's not as wide, so you know when you're holding up big uh, firewood poles and you're cutting them with the chainsaw, that'll be better that way. But we'll just see. But anyway, I'm going to get cutting some grass right now and then we'll swap some grapples out and uh, try it out. All right, so this is a 72 inch granite grapple and it is 72 inches. The max opening 
is 40 and a half inches. Now this grapple here weighs 540 pounds. This one was actually, I think, designed for the RK55, but the uh, RK37 handles it just fine. So remember that, 72 inches, 40 and a half inch max opening, and it weighs 540 pounds. I'm gonna take this off this tractor and put that 54 inch on it. Doing, miss? Thought I'd see what you're doing. That's the question. I'm going to take uh, this big grapple off of this tractor and put the little 54 inch one on, and we'll try it that way. Okay, I can help you. It's a little chilly out. It is. Cool it off. Oh, I go in to make hot chocolate, but our water cooler isn't working for the hot button. You know, you can heat water up. Yeah, it's just always convenient to press the hot button. I guess that's what happens with me. Like I said, this was the first one made, and I uh, actually talked to them when they were making it. We didn't know how long to make the hoses, so these ones are a little bit long, so I just kind of zip tie it down here. You want to tell a story, Melissa, while I'm working? So you have a story to tell? I always have a story. Give me a topic and I can tell you a story about it. <laughs> Go ahead. What happened? Um, Eva, I'm going to tell you, Eva's with her orchestra trip on an orchestra trip to uh, Cedar Point for, they did, went for adjudication and then, um, then they get to walk around or, you know, be at Cedar Point for the rest of the day. So that's kind of fun. If you don't know what Cedar Point is, it's a uh, amusement park. Yeah, what? It's up in Ohio. Yeah. On the lake. Well, Probably I mean, freezing cold there today. I don't know exactly. Is it? Is that what used to be Geauga Lake? I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, but um, Piper heard on the news that. Hold on, we have to show him Piper. Piper, come here. Piper, come over here, miss, and tell them what happened. Piper's feelings are hurt today. Oh no, I'm not going to tell about yesterday. I'm going to tell about what she heard on the news. I know. So she heard on the news that universities and colleges are going to allow students to bring their cats or dogs. And that's exciting. I think that would be great if I was a college student all over again. The sad part is you have to be 40 pounds and under. Piper, I don't think you're quite. Poor. She's like 42. Piper. She doesn't want to look at the camera. She wink, says wink. So. Yeah, she was just heartbroken. She that's just that's called fat shaming is what she said. <laughs> they just can't do that. Stan. I did see on the news the other day that a guy in his nineties graduated from college. Really? Yeah. That is the last thing I would want to do. Get Piper on there.
with him now. Huh? I think what I'll do, get a couple zip ties. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just put these on here. I'm just gonna put our zip tie on it. What are you gonna do, miss? I'm going in the house to get my jammies on. It's only like 10 after seven. Well, it's gonna be darker than dark soon and I don't wanna be unprepared. <laughs> I'm gonna be curled up in bed when 2020 comes on tonight. Melissa gets up at, uh, what, 420 every day? 420. Not on Saturdays though. No, my body knows to sleep in until like 630. <laughs> yeah. But tomorrow, or I'm sure the next day, I'll probably, the kids and everybody will make me breakfast in bed. So I just want to go make sure everything's ready. Can you do me one favor before you go in? <laughs> yeah. You can get on the tractor and you'll raise this up and down and tilt it in and out. And I want to make sure the hoses are okay. Okay. Should work out all right. Good. You did a good job. Well, you can go put your jammies on. I am. Woo. Good night, miss. <laughs> That's all five we're whining. It's your favorite part of the day. Go to bed. All right, I think I have it opened up all the way. It's about 36 and a half inches. So the max opening is about four inches less than the six foot grapple. Like I said, this one measures 54 inches wide. The big advantage this one has is it only weighs 235 pounds. Something else that's obviously different. These teeth down at the bottom, you know, they're about six inches. Compared to this one, which is, uh, they're about a foot long. And I really like this design right here. And I've mentioned this in several videos before. Not only these long points on the bottom work good for like root knot, you know, invasive species like autumn olive or multiflora rose, things like that. When you're going into a log pile, and you want to just pull one log out, these work like a little set of forks. You can go in there and just lift one log out, back away, then close the top on it and hold it tight. Uh, it works really well for that. But anyway, let's take this 54 inch down to the wood pile and see how it does. You can see that little woodpecker up there. Be a rough way to go through life, wouldn't it? So this is a 24-inch red oak log. I didn't have any problem picking it up. Uh, that's heavy. Red oak is very heavy, as I'm sure you're well aware of. Anyway, I'm going to put this one on the pile. Then maybe we'll pick up some little ones, move them around, see how it does.
I was gonna put that log right back in here, but I was afraid if I drop it down in there, I'd knock that cherry down over the hill. after running a little grapple for just a few minutes on a couple different logs I figured a few things out that I like and a few things that I don't like uh, first what I like about it it weighs about 300 pounds less than the six foot grapple so obviously that's going to give you a lot more uh, lifting capability uh, something else I like about it I do like it being not as wide as far as say you're holding big firewood poles up and you want to cut off of both ends I like that part what I don't like I shouldn't say don't like but what I like better on the six foot grapple is those longer teeth on the bottom. It's easier picking logs up out of the pile. And also one of the big things, I'll show you something. Let me get up in the seat. This is my view from the seat. You really can't even see it until you open up the lid and you can see that. But even if you lean out on the side, you can't see the edge of that tooth on the bottom, which that's one thing that makes it a lot easier with a six foot grapple. You can see what you're doing a little bit better when you're picking up logs. So obviously since it's smaller, you know, you're not going to be able to see it as well. Yeah, see that? You, you can't even see it sitting here. You have the same view as I do. So even though I only used this for a few minutes down here, moving a couple logs around, I think it's safe to say we learned a couple things. Could you use this 54-inch uh, granite grapple on a tractor the size of the RK37? Absolutely. Is it going to be as good as a five-footer or a six-footer? Probably not. Uh, I do like the fact that it weighs a lot less. You know, like I said, more lifting capability. But it's kind of hard to actually see the grapple and see what you're doing when you're sitting in the seat. So I think Royal King, you know, RK Tractors has it figured out pretty well. This grapple would be best suited for like the RK24, uh, the five-footer for the 37, and the six-footer for the 55. Although I seldom use the uh, six-footer on the 55 just for the fact that I'm always out in the woods and uh, the 55 is just a little big. It has the cab. That's why I run it on the RK37. Well, it's getting dark, so it's time to wrap this video up. I hope everybody has a good weekend and a good week ahead. Let me know in the comments how things are going in your part of the world. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.